Always sell before you build. We've made it as easy as possible to validate product ideas by automating the entire process of setting up Stripe subscriptions, Supabase for user data and logins, and even Vercel to deploy AI-generated websites and validate your ideas in minutes. Generate landing pages, dashboards, and even entire products just like we did step-by-step step, like speaking to a software engineer. Many founders I know make the mistake of building for years before getting customers, and they fall into the trap of thinking they need to add a new feature to get a customer. You can avoid this trap by following first principles and treating it like an objective experiment to quickly validate a list of ideas and increase your probability of success. Each new idea is another shot on goal. Live Mode Now even uses Ideogram 2.0 to generate relevant hero picture, pictures, product photos, and logos for you live. This is the first website editor on the planet to use the state-of-the-art image generator, Ideogram 2.0, which currently beats even Dolly and Flux. This allows strongly validating ideas quickly by charging customers with a professional landing page from idea to paying customer in five minutes flat. It even generates logos for you. Even developers seem to have a hard time with authentication since there's no API to really set this stuff up yet. And so we actually automated the entire process in the browser using cheat layer itself. Simply save all of your keys following this tutorial and we automate all the hard parts. It's kind of magical and fun to watch. Next, you need to get your landing page in front of customers to validate it. And we're helping with that too. So after you've generated your landing page using live mode, you'll be presented with this uh, website that's been published on cheatlayer.com slash atlas. And if you hit Alt S, you can hit Alt again to select any element you want and edit it in real time. You can edit it using this pop-up modal or ask Project Atlas to edit it like a software engineer. This can add functional tools, apps, games, uh, basically anything you can imagine in a browser. So very quickly, I'm gonna generate a new landing page to go through the process from end to end. Once you generate the landing page, you can see it's instantly published to our cheatlayer.com website you can, so you can share it with friends. But it also starts the process of deploying it to GitHub, then setting up Stripe for you, configuration, configuring GitHub for authentication, setting up Supabase as your database for users, and then even deploying it to Vercel. We actually use live mode to generate the code for all these API integrations. So it's cloning an entire file system in the browser, which is wild if, you, if you're a developer. And this hasn't been done before, even by Vercel itself, because there's no API to do this. So we, we, we're combining LLMs plus the ability for cheat layer just to automate everything to make it as easy as possible. After it's done, it instantly deploys it to Vercel. So now you can see this is now your own Vercel website, which you can link to a, um, a custom domain. And if you click the sign in page, it actually goes to your backend, which instantly allows you to charge customers using Stripe subscriptions. All of your products in your Stripe account will now show up here and you can add a new product and it'll automatically show up in your new backend. This is a very strong way, way to validate products rather than just using a waitlist because you can now instantly charge customers from just an idea. After it sets everything up for you, since you've already configured all your keys, you can immediately log in and then add products to Stripe. I've already been adding products for, te for testing, but basically if you go to Stripe and then click your product catalog, you can give a, any, the product any name and description and a monthly reoccurring amount and add the product. And then it will instantly get uh, populated in your backend on your dashboard. Here's how we set this up. I'm gonna go walk through the process of resetting all my keys and starting from scratch. So in the cheat layer agents dashboard, you can click agents settings, and then we need to set up Supabase, Vercel, Stripe, GitHub, and Ideogram. So we're gonna start with GitHub, open GitHub and log in. And we need to go to settings in GitHub in the top right hand corner. Click the navigation menu, click settings, and then on the left, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click developer settings. Next, we need to generate a classic token. 
So click tokens, classic, and then generate a new classic token. You can call this whatever you want. It's helpful to call it cheat layer. And then give it a no expiration and permissions for repo and writing. Writing packages. And then finally generate the token and copy the generated token back to the cheat layer agent settings menu. Paste it and then click OK. Similarly, add your Stripe and Ideogram API keys, which are fairly straightforward. I'll cover the ones that are a little bit complicated. Okay, next we're gonna set up Vercel. In Vercel, click the top right hand corner and go to account settings, then click settings and then tokens. <clears throat> Generate a new token without expiry that has access to the full account. And next we'll set up Vercel. After we've set up Vercel, we're going to set up Supabase by logging into Supabase and creating a new project. As soon as you create a new project, we'll be able to set up the API key and then go back to Supabase, get the service role key, and then the Supabase URL won't be ready until it's finished setting up the project. So for now, what we can do is Go set up an account level token, access token. And then click generate new access token when you're outside of all the projects. And then copy this token back into the last input in the cheat layer super base settings. And by now it should have set up the URL for you. So if you go to your projects, your new project will be created and there'll be a URL at the bottom of the settings. Copy that URL and click OK. <clears throat> now if you have our Chrome extension installed, it's going to go ahead and configure Supabase for you. It's going to open the SQL editor and type in all this code. We're speeding this up here, so it takes a minute. Uh, it's kind of crazy how much it has to go through, so you can imagine that it's kind of hairy for people to do it themselves, but we've automated the whole process for you, so you don't have to worry about what this means. It's basically configuring all of your super base tables. I believe this is the first service that's automated the entire process of setting up Superbase from end to end, including authentication and Vercel. And if you go back and check your tables after it's done, you'll see what it's basically done for you. And then finally, we also need to install the GitHub and Vercel app and configure it to link to your Vercel account. Just make sure it has access just like this and click Save. That's all you need. Now go get your first customer.